Pete Moore Gunmark TV, and this is something very different from Benelli. It's their Lupo bolt action hunting rifle. They've made rifles in the past, uh, one of them was the semi automatic Argo, which is um, I've had the pleasure of using on driven boar hunts in Europe. Awesome piece of kit. They mainly make uh, semi automatic shotguns, and over the years they've combined sort of what the Italians do so well good looks very very in your face styling with usually in, in this case all the time some very very good guns but this is quite a step for them because it's a bolt action sporter i've actually tested the 308 gun uh, then i got the option to have a look at the 6.5 creedmoor gun which is for me was what i wanted but basically um they're limited on caliber which i think is quite smart 243, 308, 270 win, 30 on 6, 6.5 Creedmoor, obviously, and 300 win mag if you want a big hitter. Barrel wise, the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 300 win mag are 24 inch, the others are 22. Rifles come threaded, in this case 14 by 1. First of all, this is something that really blew me away that 1025, but only have a coating called BEST, B E S T. Benelli surface treatment. And it's an anti-corrosion, anti-wear, anti-everything finish. And it has, you won't believe this, a 25 year warranty. It's a bit like buying a four x four truck and being told you've got a six year warranty on, on, on rust and corrosion. But 25 years and most unusual, a 10 year warranty and everything mechanical, which is it's just crazy. I'm really impressed with that. That's a bold thing to do. You know, 10 years, most people don't even keep a rifle 10 years. It looks like it's got a black synthetic stock. Well, it has, but it's got something else. Fore end and the butt are a rigid polymer. This bit here is aluminium, high strength aluminium, which the all steel barrel action bolts straight to. What I like about that is that there's no um, floor, uh, bottom metal sandwiching between the screws, the stock and the action which can, I'm not saying it does, but it can cause issues with uh, tightness of bedding screws, things like that. So the magazine, which is just really very sexy, pull that catch down, it comes out. It's a five shot double column magazine, but look at what they've done there. That's all one piece, so there's, there's no problem. The mag catch comes to the magazine, and that's just a big chunk of machined aluminium, which is really very, very nice. The bolt is reasonably standard. Three locking lugs, 60 degree lift angle. It's wasted here for pretty lightness and clearance. The, the weird thing is this handle, as you can see, it's a very strange shape. It drops back and it goes straight out. Perhaps you can see it better in the gun. But again, like most things, it just really works. Your hand sort of gets underneath it and it's where it should be. Barrels are hammer forged and then cryogenically stress relieved, which is something that Benelli have done with their shotgun barrels and choked for a long time. It's held in by a big, huge nut just there. The um, Lupo comes with two Picatinny sections, front and rear, but I believe you can get a one piece rail for it. So let's just look a little bit closer at what you're actually getting in the package, which is pretty impressive. As I said, bolts to the front and rear sections of the lower mini chassis, as it were. Check rings applied, well, they call it air touch, and it's not, it's more like fish scale, but it's quite deep. Um, it's not aggressive, but it gives you lovely grip, equally so. If you can see the sides of the fore end, the scalloped out with big, generous fingerboard. So uh, your sort of supporting hand position is assured and very, very comfortable. Benelli float the barrel right up to the action, which is great. Going further back, we can see the aluminium chassis in more detail and that rather unusual, but very attractive trigger guard and trigger. The butt, same material, got a nice long angled pistol grip, a little bit of flare at the bottom, which is great. Moving further back, you have a rubber comb, you want to call it comb tech, and basically it stops the bite, you get recoil bite through the side of the stock, certainly on kickier calibers. It stops that bite. And also, because it's smooth in recoil, your head can sort of run along it, which is pretty good. I've tested the 308. I've got to say, 
even with a snotty load like 178 grain Hornaday um, ELDX Precision Hunter, it feels like shooting a low power 243. It's just daft in terms of recoil and general felt effect. This is all brought about by the Progressive Comfort recoil system. It's They've taken the technology from the shotguns. What you get from the box is two spaces you can see here, uh, which are separate. They come with different screws to put them in. Um, and it gives you a length of pull adjustment of 13.8 to 14.75 inches, which is very good. I've got, got quite long arms and I put both in and I've got a really nice length of pull and hand position. And it's got the progressive comfort rhythm. It's, a, it's like a plunger that when the gun fires and it kicks, pushes back, uh, the plunger moves in, it passes through a series of like interlock fingers and that causes the recoil reduction. Uh, and it's, it, again, it was really very effective. And then you have also included a set of shims so you can adjust the drop and the cast of the stock and you can put spacers between the rear of the um of the lower aluminum receiver and the neck of the butt which will allow you to position your finger i didn't need to put another spacer there my finger position was just perfect comes with inset sling swivel loops front and rear also um, they come with a, with a QD sling stud to take Harris type bipod and they include that in the package which is quite a nice little feature. But the bolt handle I pointed out is unique in its shape and very very comfortable in use. Feature that I do love, it's got a tang mounted safety, push forward to fire, boom, reload, back for safe. In safe mode you have an unlocking button behind the bolt lever so if you want to have one at the chamber want to have to do a safe unload leave it on safe mode press that down the bolt lifts up but the rifle is still in safe mode there's a cocked action indicator pin there the magazine is noteworthy itself you can see have a catch in here pulls down like that it's a double column fared in beautifully takes five rounds uh, but it takes four into the wind mag because obviously it's a bigger cartridge. What I really like about it, and something that I do prefer in my hunting rifles, is you can top up the magazine. It's very easy. Just drop around in like that, clicks in beautifully, and it's there. Which is great. So it means you can top up as you go if you need to. And secondly, which is I think just as important, you can literally chuck around in, just shut the bolt. No, no hassle, no nothing, which is great. The trigger is adjustable. It's got a sort of a medium width blade, slightly checkered, which is good, comfortable. And you can go from 2.2 to 4.4 pounds. From the box, both the 308 and the 6.5 gun, I didn't really do anything to them because the trigger was just beautiful. But you get a long, slim i think it's about a one mil bondus bullhead allen key that goes in there and you can adjust the trigger you anti-clockwise uh, reduces the weight clockwise increases the weight once you get the hang of it there's a little brass ring that's got to go through so you can see it when i shot the thing for the first time it was just right got behind the gun felt the trigger no creep no nothing just on boom and that really breeds confidence so that's pretty much the nuts and bolts of the rifle um, it really impressed me. One thing that Benelli say, the rifle will shoot sub MOA from 100 metres, which is, these days, is, that's not an amazing comment if the gun can do it. Uh, but I put through um, six different loads with the 308 and only one load went over MOA and that was 1.06 inches, which is about three millimeters over. Best group was with one of my reloads using a um, 165 grain SST bullet that came in at 0 0.6, I think 69, which is not much over half an inch. And comparing to the rest of the loads there, the average group size was 0 0.85 inches, which is definitely sub MOA. That was just with a cross section of ammo. I do believe that the rifles can shoot half MOA without really trying. So again, you're buying almost guaranteed sub MOA accuracy.
uh, which I think is pretty impressive. Makes five round, very easy to load. And you just clip in. There's a little divider at the front, I think, which just makes an easy to feed. Smooth as that. Right, earphones on. Back of the bag in first. Snaps in. Safety's on. Recoil is minimal, say on the 308, which is much more of a, should we say, a heavier round than the 6.5, it felt like a 243. This just feels just smooth. Nothing on the side of your face at all, no shock, no nothing. This, the progressive comfort system really works well. Bolt operation is nice. It seems to be well positioned. Feed is good. Uh, it's just a really, really nice rifle. So I'm buying this one. Um, I don't think I've ever done such a knee jerk reaction with a gun before. Shot three rounds for the beginning of the year. Shot the 308 the other week. Really fell in love with it. And this came along, I couldn't resist it. So this is early days of 6.5, yeah, I'm still playing around with it. So I'm gonna come back with this when I've run the barrel in properly and I've worked out some decent loads for it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Cracking rifle, really a cracking rifle. And thanks to GMK for giving it to me so so fast. If you like what you see, comment, tell your friends, support the website. And if you want to talk to me about anything, then it's pmore.shootingsports at gmail.com. Shoot safe, and I'll catch you again soon.